Hey everyone, I'm Army Gaming. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video on Done Raw. So I forgot a few things last video. First of all, I forgot to actually rank this monster all the way to rank 5 to level 130 and actually utilize her at her full potential. So we're going to do that in this video. And in this video, I'm also going to utilize what I think is her best skill set, not necessarily her skills group 4 skills. That's right, if you didn't watch the last video, you would have missed out on the fact that this monster, even though she's not a war master, even though she's not a nemesis, she has a skills group 4 skill set. So, these are actually her skills, with the exception of gates. Let me see, her other skills group 4 skill, deadly riddle. So, let me swap this out. This skill set right here, curse of the pharaoh, deadly riddle, first plague, ninth plague, this is Dunra's skill set 4. At rank 1, at level 105, you get curse of the pharaoh, AoE night merchant curse. At rank 2, you get this Deadly Riddle, this, this single damage, major damage reduction, reduces damage output by 50%. Then you get First Plague, AoE Bleeding, and then your last and final skill is Ninth Plague, an AoE Blind. And yes, even though it doesn't seem that amazing, if again, if you see the last video, you would know that Ninth Plague is very, very powerful for this monster. Yes, it's just a regular AoE Blind, but the one thing about Dunra is that she has Mega Taunt. And with Megatons, all attacks are pretty much, they're going to be going towards your Dunra. All single target attacks and all AoEs, and that is why it is a Megatons. I think in the last video I said Mega Stun on accident. Sorry about that. Megatons. All AoE, all damage, all effects, they are going to gravitate towards your Dunra. So, you're not only taking the damage from one attack if it's an AoE, you're taking all three damage. Which is why having AoE blind is so beneficial, so you don't, so some of those attacks will miss. And yeah, this is all of your skills group 4. In my personal opinion though, you don't really need Deadly Riddle. Instead, you could probably run Gates, which essentially gives you Megatons again. Because maybe, keep in mind, your, your, your Megaton is just a status caster. It can be removed by any skill that removes positive effects. So by running Gates, you can re-equip that Megaton, and you also get immunity to all control skills, which is very useful. It gives immunity to stun, freeze, regular, and exclusive possession. And then another skill you can potentially use, let's scroll down, is the AoE Days, in my personal opinion. So the AoE Curse of Nightmares, your, your rank 1 skill, this is a must-have. It is incredible, it is phenomenal. Curse reduces your HP, enemy HP, and stamina by 10% on the first turn, then 20%, then 40%. And Nightmares, this deals low dark damage and removes 10% of stamina each turn. So these two combined, that is so much stamina removal, it is so powerful. And then again, if you manage to rank this monster up all the way to rank 4 and get the AoE Blind, AoE Blind works so good with AoE Days. So those two are useful to have. I also like First Plague, the AoE Bleeding. However, in my personal opinion, I would rather have AoE Blind and Days as opposed to Bleeding. But Bleeding is good because it is a DLT and it does reduce the damage output by 20%. So even if, you're, even if the enemy doesn't have their accuracy reduced, at least their damage output is reduced. But with Days, come on, it's a minus 25% accuracy and minus 25% damage output. So I personally think this is the best skill set, assuming you have Dunra ranked up all the way to rank 4 when you have all of the skills. But of course, you can always change skills for free. That's that's completely fine. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. Your ultimate, don't even get me started with her ultimate. Dunra can Mega Possession, Quicksand, and Sunburn. That is a phenomenal ultimate attack. For relics, she can hold trap and masks. And what I found with this monster, considering she has Megaton, considering she takes a ton of damage, you really want to go for stamina draining relics, like the Oblation Strap. It'll trigger so fast because your life will fall below 50% easy. And the Exhausting Mask could also come in handy, which removes stamina from the enemy attacker. Not to mention, well, keep in mind because everything is attracted towards you. This is really good against extra turn monsters, especially if, especially if you have an anticipation monster on your side. It's just, it's useful against a lot of creatures. Seriously. Also, if you have the healing mask, that would be useful. And for runes, you 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 need life. Like you definitely need life. Okay. I would recommend probably two life runes. You could even potentially argue that you can do three, because this monster doesn't like. Look at her. This is her level 130 stats. 4,410 power. 78,324 life. 4,312 speed. Her speed stat honestly doesn't matter. I don't care if she goes last. The cool thing about Dunra is that she's just absorbing attacks. I, I would honestly compare her to Elvira. El except, well, you know, when Elvira got released into the game, she was game-changing because we now had a way to counter high-level ranked-up monsters. 
if it was a ruby, ruby couldn't do explosion or laying odds because it would miss because you had evasion. If you're fighting a Voltic, he could attack you as many times as he wanted to. Doesn't matter. Well, the cool thing about Dunraw is essentially that um, all the attacks are always going to gravitate towards you. So you're not going to, your, uh, your allies, they won't get denied. Your allies, they won't take any damage. If it's a team wars involving rare monsters or common monsters, they will stay alive thanks to Dunraw. So let me take out this monster into PvP. Or not PvP. Well, first we'll do adventure maps just so I can showcase. I guess I'll just do the base I did in the last video. So just to showcase how Dunraw can protect your team just by existing. We'll click fight and check this out. Just by having my Megaton. Well, actually, let me do blind just to show you why it's actually beneficial, even though it's a skills group 4 skills. So I blinded everyone. Pocket size. Okay, that damaged me. Exhausty mask kicked in. Viper's Gaze. Take a look at what happens. Attack, miss, miss, miss. So Viper's Gaze is an AoE, but it missed thanks to the blind. Now let's throw in the daze. So now they're dazed and blind. Let's see how many of their attacks they actually land. Uh, Fiery Torment. It landed. And what are you going to do? First bandage. That missed. The burning landed, however. We're just going to recharge. And let's see. I think they have to recharge too. Fiery Torment. Okay, I lost my Megaton. So look what happens when my Megaton is no longer in effect. I lost my common monster. So let's see if I can save this one. I'll activate gates. I'll reapply my Megatons. And now every AoE skill, every single target hit is going to be directed back at my Dun Raw. Which means my common monster is going to stay alive. Look, he even gets a chance to attack with Razor Claws. How cute is that? Let's activate the blind. And let's see. Recharge. Viper's Gaze. Again, that's an AoE skill. And see, it landed because now the enemy Viper Noltep wasn't blinded. Even an ult, it doesn't matter. It missed. Well, it missed in this case because I think he was blinded. Let's see. Oh, and then Curse of the Feral. Again, skills group 1 skills. At rank 1, you get this amazing Nightmare and Curse. Watch as the enemy is like has no stamina throughout the whole match. So see, they recharge, right? They have Curse of Nightmares, Curse of Nightmares. Uh, let's do Gates again to make sure I have that Megatons. Look how much stamina he loses. He lost 42 stamina. 42. He's going to have to recharge next turn. And then even Ben... Watch. 42 stamina. That's crazy. And I probably won't survive till the next match. So we're just going to blind. And who knows? Maybe I will survive. Because they... Oh, look. The Cursed and Nightmares killed them. Time to rest. All right. That finished me off. But yeah, as you can see, Megatons, it works because all the attacks are directed towards a single monster. So... So this is game changing in my personal opinion. In terms of PvP, in terms of Team Wars, if you if you can put Dunra on your side, you are going to be able to synergize so well. And like, don't even get me started with the kind of combos we can make. Combined with Remtar, you know, you have Skill Mirror. You can even give Dunra a strong attack skill and you'll be reflecting everything back to the enemy. Combined with Necromancer, that's what I was doing in my videos. Combined with Necromancer, you're immune to possession. So if you're fighting, well, let's look at the enemies. Vito, that base in the middle, Kihaku. Kihaku can freeze and possess, Voltic can attack me so many times, Metalhead can do AoE stun, with Dunraw all of that is directed towards my monster. So this is a team I've been using, and even though I don't have good runes, like everyone laughs at my Sherazar's level 3 runes, I'm pretty sure I can walk away winning against Vito. So we're gonna try, and again I'm not allowed to win these battles because it would be completely unfair for me to win with a monster that isn't even released to everyone, so I will exit. But I will get to the point where you guys you guys will see that I would have won. We're going to go times 1 speed. Maybe times 2 speed because it does get kind of slow. Let's see. Kill them all. Look at that. It's an AoE stun. But my allies didn't get stunned because Dunraw absorbs the stun. I love it so much. Exhausting Mask kicked in. Here's this extra turn monster, Voltic, attacking me. Too bad I absorbed the attack. And then against a the Voltic, it is really helpful to have an anticipation monster. Because then that allows me to react and do so much more. I am going to do, let me see, I don't want to completely die, right? I wanted to, well, I'm stunned. I wanted to do something with Dunra, so let me churn transfer, and then I'll give myself extra churn so I can churn transfer again. You'll see what I do right now. So let's see. Voltic goes, yeah, we're going to times two speed. Times one is so slow. Extra churn. We'll do it a couple times, because I want to churn transfer into Dunra again. And Perfect. And see, this, here's the cool thing about Dunraw being slow. It doesn't matter because the slower Dunraw is, honestly, the longer I get to keep my Mega Taunts. So I can Churn Transfer again. I'm going to Churn Transfer because I want to do my Skills Group 1 skill, Curse of the Pharaoh. And it landed on everyone. Curse and Nightmares. Beautiful. Look, Volt just altered me. Do you guys know how many times in the past there would be Team Wars 
where Volt gets his alt and kills my allies? In this case, sorry Volt, you only get to kill one monster. Ha! Huh. And now hopefully, the cool thing about having a revival monster is if I can revive Dunraw, especially with um, Necromancer, I can immediately reapply the, um, the, the Megaton. So hopefully I get a chance to do that. Let's see if I do. Um, we're going to do... Oh my goodness, don't die. Um, oh shoot, are you going to die? Please don't die on me. No, they have regen. They shouldn't die. Hopefully, we're going to do... We're going to do... Um, I kind of want to do Great Dispel so they don't die. Uh, we'll do Random Spell Book. To immobilize them. Um, oh, thank goodness. Oh gosh. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, don't die on me. Please don't die on me. Vault, you are recently possessed. We have regen, you have drowned. Wizard's negation, great dispel. What do you have? Drowned removes 15% of stamina. That's fine. I can remove. What do you have? Stamina regen? Stamina regen. Let's remove uh, stamina regen. Wizard's negation. Healing mass. Okay, perfect. You'll stay alive. All right, 20k volts. What times? Four? Okay, no. Anticipation kicks in. Perfect. So I get to do this. And then check this out. I can do gates. And I have Megatons again, and we'll just times four this. So, oh, he recharged. There's him trying to AoE stun. Recharge. Here's all the attacks being directed towards my Dunraw. I, I love it so much. And again, this is... I fought an elite team. Everyone's ranked up. Everyone, look at their runes. High level runes. 988, 1098. And just with Dunraw being on my team, I was able to win. Like, it's crazy. I love this monster. It is, it is such a game-changing monster. And, and again, with a revival... With a revival monster, especially Necro, who can extra turn and give me immunity to possession, I have so much, so much synergy. Uh, let's recharge, and then let's showcase again. Again, when my HP falls below fifty percent, my Oblation Trap can kick in, so I am always owning them on their stamina. It is, it is glorious. We're gonna exit out, and we're gonna try taking on someone else. So again, let's see. Um, Patient Cyber can do cooldowns activated. Uh, let's see. We'll refresh. Let's see if I can find a ruby base. Let's see if I can find... There's a possession. There's Xyla. Let's see if I can find a strong, strong base. Um, well, we'll do Kihaku and Charmless. I guess that's a good showcase, even though it's kind of what we already did. Click fight. And let's see. See, possession and freeze? Sorry, it's only going to land on one monster. And then he's already attacking me. I am going to turn transfer to Denra again. I'm going to be taking a lot of damage, but that's fine. Sweaty Blade. We'll do this again. Extra churn, extra churn, extra churn, and a recharge. Energizer staff, extra churn again. And churn transfer. And the reason I want to churn transfer again is just it's pretty much to showcase the blind. AoE blind. Oh, oh, I did this in the last video too. When Elvira's in the game, I can't AoE blind. Alright, so see, as you can see, that's my ablation trap kicking kicking in. So I managed to survive. The enemy has no stamina. That's cool on my part. I'm gonna keep doing my extra churn skill. So even these two monsters, great, great synergy, especially when your Necromancer is at rank 2. So you have that revival skill. Look at that. I just got ulted, but only my Dunra got ulted. That is glorious. Let's equip Wizard's Negation. Let's revive. Dunra is back from the dead. We are going to do Gates again. They all have to recharge. I could have honestly done the Curse, and that would have been fine. Um, speaking of it, yeah, let's do Curse and Nightmares. Watch as they have, like, little to no stamina. It's glorious. Alright, curse. Epic quest. Oh, he's gonna die. Watch. Boom, because of curse. Oh, he removed the curse. Well, that's no fun. Alright, look at that. All of the <laughs> all of the AoE just going towards my Dunra. Let's activate the blind. And again, I completely forgot that I can't blind. Alright, repent sinner. So yeah, as you notice, I do I do tend to get hit with DOTs, and DOTs hurt me like no tomorrow. DOTs really, really hurt me. So one great thing is just to partner up Dunra with any teammate that can remove negative effects. I believe shares are actually as a skill that can remove negative effects. But yeah, it doesn't have to be a War Master. It doesn't have to be shares are. It can be any ally. So let me change. Oh, and also relics. Team relics like this. Um, when the turn ends, if any ally's life is below 50%, it is healed. This really helps your Dunra. But again, it doesn't have to be... Um, it doesn't have to necessarily be a Sherazar. It can be any ally that removes negative effects. Gakora, for example. It could be 
Honestly, Gakara would be useful too because it can hold the Essence and you can hold a Tenacity Shield, which helps you Dunra. But it can be any monster, even a monster that gives life regen, double healing and life regen. Um, let's see who comes to mind. Yamada comes to mind. Yamada could be a great, great ally to Dunra. Let me see if I can pull it off. Um, we have, we'll do this Oblation Trap. We'll do this Major Essence Healing Relic. And for skills, we are going to do Trusty Owl, double healing. Applies double healing damage boost to our allies. Flying free applies regeneration to allies. Yeah, let's see how this works out. And the cool thing is that... Well, let's refresh. The cool thing is... Um, oh, you know what? I'm curious what happens. I'm pretty sure Stamina Devours will only drain Dunraw's stamina, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Noxious Blow. So I got poisoned. Exhausting Mask kicks in. Let's see. Stamina Devours. Yup. Even my Dun... Only Dunraw gets stamina drained. I love this monster so much. So I got hit with all those DOTs, or not those DOTs, I got all my stamina drain, I got hit with a lot, my HP is below 50%, Oblation Trap kicks in, Let's see there's the Team Relic helping out, look, and the cool thing is, what I was going to say, even if you don't have any attackers on your team, look at that, Yamada is a team speed, and healer, um, Necromancer is like, he's whatever, the cool thing is, Dunra herself has the DOT to win, you can do Nightmares and Curse, if you run bleeding, you can do bleeding. We're gonna do curse and nightmares, and I'm essentially just gonna win with DOTs. Uh, let's see, you're gonna activate your charging banner. So let's do medevac. I need some quick heals. Actually, I have my relic. So let's do trust the owl. So let's check this out. Trust the owl, I get double healing, and then my relic will kick in, and Dunra will get essentially instead of getting healed by 16,000, I'll get 32,000. So let's do trust the owl. Check this out. Major healing essence, bam, 32k. So it's all about the synergy. It's all about the team comps. This is going to be so much fun. Elite Sea Troops. Okay, I'll take a hit. But only Dunra will take the hits. So thank goodness for my Megaton monster. Oblation Trap kicks in. Sorry, you're bad on stamina. Curse will take away some stamina. Nightmares will take away some stamina. I love this monster so much. So fun to use. Oh, I lost my Megaton. Gotta be careful with that. Um, let me go ahead and turn transfer back to Dunra so I can activate my... Oh, I might not be able to. I wanted to do Megaton, but that's fine. Um, let's do Major Healing Essence like that. Both of them healed. Awesome. All right, let's see what happens. Okay. I killed one enemy monster and only Dunra really attacked. Recharge, turn transfer, and we are going to activate Gates. Oh, I just realized Gates cost no stamina? I can do it with zero stamina, that's awesome. We are going to do flying free, which gives um, life regen. So watch, this is gonna be awesome. Um, recharge, Noxious Blow, yeah, I'll take all the hits, that's fine. Recharge, I will do Trust the Owl, so now I have the double life regen. So even though I'm poisoned with the life regen, like that, 47k, recharge. Puzzlement, you can't possess me recharge i'll do medevac and look dunra is back to full life so even in a team without an attacker dunra can dominate the game and again with curse of pharaoh that's all you really need look at that damage that dot damage i better exit out before i accidentally win again oh wait i should be able to last another turn look at that minus 13k that is just crazy yeah i'm gonna exit out but yeah no attacker needed Dunra and DOTs is really all you need. Let me change the skill to reflect that. Let me give Dunra bleeding. Um, so we're going to get rid of the daze. I'll keep the blind. We'll, we'll do first plague. So now I have now I have nightmares, curse, and bleeding. Lots of DOT. We're going to put Sammy on the team. So I have a bunch of turn transferring monsters. So I can utilize the DOT right away. We'll just put whatever relics. No, no need for anything too fancy. Um, who do I want to take on? Let's take on this base that has a Sunblast who can do AoE Possession and cooldowns activated. And let's see. Oh, I actually went first. So, I am going to summon a Warrior. And we're going to start with Curse of the Pharaoh. So, Nightmares and Curse. Alright. Now, let's see what happens. Um, Nocturnal Tackle. That's fine. Oh, it missed. I can do Gates, like I said. Wow, that's so crazy. No stamina cost. I'm just going to recharge. Uh, let's see what happens. Stop, it's fire time. That is the AoE cooldown activated and sunburn. And as you can see, 
Only Dunra was affected. My other monsters weren't affected. I, the cooldown has not been activated on these monsters. Was that a Mega Freeze? Darn it. I am just going to have to um, recharge. I can do Pain to get rid of those negative effects. And now I'm scared the enemy is taking too much damage. Because I want to do the bleeding. Uh, let's see. Flesh Piercer. Exhausty Mask kicks in. Recharge. Man, with two Revival Monsters and Dunra, you're set. So my cooldowns did get activated. Block out the sun. Widow armor. Recharge. Alright, let's see. I'm going to turn transfer to Dunra. And I guess this is just to showcase. Um, yeah, bleeding. So just take a look at Kratos. And this is what you could potentially have on your side. You could have the enemy with Nightmarish Curse and bleeding. It's it's insane. It's so insane. Bugs out. And I think I can do one more battle. If I'm not mistaken. If I go to goals... I should have one more attack. And again, there's so many synergy. I can only work with what I have, but there's just a ton and a ton of synergy. Let's take on this Ruby Sammy base. Ruby should be going first. Thank you very much, Ruby. Total exhaustion. And, well, that's a single target hit. We'll do Sammy Warrior. Give myself an immediate extra turn. Let's hit the... Ooh, you are a strong, strong Talos. Let's hit... The Curse of the Pharaoh. So Nightmares and Curse on the allies, not on Talos, obviously. I feel like I might get trade disabled. We'll see. Oh, nice. Pain. Even better. Exhausting Mass kicks in. Compressed. Lane odds. This is what happens when you don't have Mega Tauntaun. Everyone gets hit with a negative effect. All right, let's see. I'm frozen. Um, I can turn transfer. I can reapply that Mega Taunt to protect my allies. I love Gates. Great skill. The fact that it requires no stamina, that's awesome. We can do Pain to get rid of any negative effect I may have. Alright, let's see what happens. Talos is going to hit my Dunra hard, but I am super tanky. Objective mark, 24k, and I got my trait disabled, but that's fine with me. I am going to recharge. Let's see, Ruby Implosion, that is a single target hit. I got hit with Ignition. Um, Let's see, let's activate Curse of the Pharaoh. So Nightmares and Curse landed on Ruby, not on Sammy. I'm just going to give myself extra turns because that's kind of what Necromancer is here for. He's here for Revival and he's here to churn transfer. That's what I want to do. This is this is honestly a showcase of Dunra and my allies just happen to make everything else work. Let's see, Ruby, Total Exhaustion, doesn't do anything. Sammy, what is Sammy going to do? If he does Death Moratorium, so good healing skill. Spread Radiation, that was an AoE skill. And bam, my trap activates. Let's do pain to get rid of that life regen. Let's do a recharge because that's all I can do. I still have Megatons on. Recharge. Let's turn transfer. And let's see, how long do I have Megatons? I better activate it to protect from Talos. Well, he has no stamina. So no need to do that. Let's do Pesty. And let's see. Ruby does lane odds. Sorry, you're only going to hit one monster. Oblation Shop kicked in again. That is glorious. Curse of the Pharaoh yet again. Look at all of that DLT on the enemy. Let's go Sama Warrior. And let's even hit them with a Bleeding. Oh my gosh, I can't. So this would actually kill them because they're weak to special based attacks. Gosh, let's hit Ninth Plague. Oh, that'll kill too. That's a strong attack. Um, oh, it's only a single enemy. But I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to recharge. I want to I want to see what the DLT damage does. Let's see. I think Ruby... Oh, Ruby almost died. Talos just has to recharge. We'll recharge over here. We'll recharge again. Ruby's going to die. Sammy can probably res now. Oh, pain. So I finally lost... I finally lost Dun Raw. But it honestly doesn't matter because it is a simple Unholy Resurrect. Dunra is back from the dead. Um, let's see if I can turn transfer. I should have probably just rezzed with Necromancer. Let's see. One more. I think I can turn transfer. Oh, not enough stamina. So we'll recharge. We'll see what happens with Sammy. Sammy recharges. I'll recharge. Talos will recharge. Gates is active. And I am safe yet again. Uh, we'll do Pesty. And let's see. Death Moratorium. Okay, Helion recharge 
Let's see, compress. I just, I love how, like, I can keep this match going for as long as I want. And I'd never have to worry about Dunrod really dying because I know I can keep bringing Dunrod back from the dead. I know I can keep Mega Taunting, which protects my allies. It's, it's insane. I, I am really, really loving this monster. Ninth Plague. Gosh. Reach, I should have turn transferred. Let's see, Total Exhaustion again. I have no Stamina. Recharge. Um, gates again. I can keep that Mega Taunt throughout the whole entire game. That Sammy's going to die. He can recharge the curse and everything will drain his stamina. Lane Odds protected my whole allies. Beautiful, beautiful monster. And everyone is going to be able to get this monster. Keep that in mind. This monster hopefully isn't going to be that hard to get. If you have the five, if you have the five items, you will be able to partake in this monster's um, quest, progressive value, whatever it may be. So you're going to you're going to get a chance to use this monster. So I hope you guys enjoy. Definitely be sure to get Dunrod to rank one. Because that's when you get that Nightmare Curse skill, which is phenomenal. Obviously, if you could get her at rank 4 and get the AoE blind, that would be phenomenal too. But honestly, that curse that curse in Nightmares, that's all you really, really need. Like, seriously. I think with that, you're you're more than fine. But yeah, look at this. Curse of the Pharaoh. Oh, I missed. But yeah, I think we'll call it a day there. Once again, um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Here you saw Dunra at her full potential. Um, let me know what you guys think about this monster. Let me know what you think about the Megaton trait, the Megaton skill. Do you like it? Uh, hopefully you do. It, it really is like a great way for free to play players to take on really tough opponents. And all you really need is a high level, a high level life rune or maybe two high level life runes. Although this also begs the question, like fighting this monster on defense is going to be tough. Especially if you're fighting a player that has her fully ranked up. But then again, you know, there's always ways to counters. Maybe you can trait disable, you can AoE possess. Keep in mind, she does have a 30% chance or a 35% chance to not get hit with negative effects. And then if the enemy partners her up with Necromancer, then you're really in trouble. So it, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun world of Monster Legends. Keep in mind, she's the first monster to have Megaton. So I suspect there will be more. And again, to see if you can participate in the Dunraw Tail event. Just look in your storage, look at the little scroll icon, you need to have 5 of these items. When you have 5 of these items, you are going to be eligible to partake in the Dunraw quest, and I believe that will start on February 25th. And by the way, all that information can be found in the update section of the game. There's a new special monster Dunraw, if you scroll to the bottom it tells you about Dunraw. Um, sorry about that, if you click on Dunraw's tail, it tells you about the event. The event itself will start, it's, it's going to be a progressive outland. And it will start on February 25th, and it's going to go on through March 1st. And again, all you need is those five items, or five of each of those five items. And as you see from that first sentence, Denra is the first representative of the new generation of tanks. So she is not the last, but she certainly will be the first, or she is the first. So that's going to be it for Denra. You have now seen her at level 130 at rank 5. Please, whatever thoughts you have on this monster, any team combinations, any synergy, let me know in the comments below. And hopefully before I sell this monster, I can try them out. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Thank you all so much for supporting me. A huge thanks to Social Point for giving me the monster, the cells, the gems, everything to make this video. And I will see you all next time.